Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to design a solar system in a software called PVSYST which is used by solar professional engineers in solar industry. To create a new project, click on project, new grid connected project which means your solar system is connected to the electricity grid. Now here you can create a new project, load the project, save the existing project that you are working on. You can change few settings, we will come back to this later then you can delete the project and then you can add the client to create a new project click on new then give the project name pvc gives you the next instruction that you should follow so pvc is asking us to choose a geographical site for this project pvc has already a list of lot of geographical sites around the world inside its database so when you click on the folder icon, it's going to take some time to open, but it will show you the list of a lot of projects. If you can find your city in this database, then you can click on it and say OK. However, if you do not, then you need to click on the plus icon, which is for creating a new site. And then here, if you know the coordinates of the location then you can give the coordinates if not you can also provide the name of the city so i know the name of the city so i'm going to say search and then you can see the locality country and if everything is good then accept the selected points here you will see different options to select to your irradiation metronome data you have metronome your nasa pvgis solcas solar anywhere for last two options, you need their services to be purchased. But for first three, you have free data available. So you can choose either of these. I'm going to choose PVGIS. PVGIS has two versions, 5.1 and 5.2. 5.1 is the old version that will be discontinued in the services in the future. And PV 5.2 is the latest one. So I'm just going to say 5.2, import. And after some time, you will see the monthly data for the location so if everything looks good here you can see different units according to your needs you can change these units but i'm just going to keep the default and say okay then pvc is going to ask me whether i want to save the site i'm going to say save and now the geographical site for oldenburg is saved i say okay now is also going to ask us to save the TMY data. I'm going to say yes, save. Now our site location and the meteor file has been selected. Now PVC is saying to save the project file. So I'm going to say project, 5 megawatt project. Just for simplicity, I'm going to say file name is also 5 megawatt system. Once we have selected the site and the material file for the project, the next step is to choose the plane orientation. Plane orientation is nothing but defining your tilt angle of the system and whether the system is south facing if in the north hemisphere or is north facing if it's in the southern hemisphere. So if I click on the orientation tab, a new dialog box opens up. Here we can see a different types of the solar fields. For example, only one tilt and the one orientation or several orientation, whether you are using a tracking system or whether you are not using tracking system so likewise you, we can select different field types for now simplicity we are going to keep a fixed tilt orientation which is only one tilt angle and the one orientation angle first we will see the plane tilt plane tilt angle is nothing but the angle made by the solar panels with respect to the horizontal line or the ground we can change the tilt angle by clicking on the red dot and going up or down this will automatically change the tilt angle however you can also change the tilt angle in the dialog box and give it as 20 degrees so it's now 20 degrees the azimuth of the system is nothing but whether your system is facing south or the west or the east side or the north side the same way you can also define the azimuth by clicking on the red dot or by clicking inside the box now south system is at zero degrees meaning now we are facing south side if it's the east facing you have to put minus and then put 90 degrees if it's west facing then you have to put plus 90 
for simplicity again we are going to use south facing system so we need to keep it zero if you are not aware of your field parameters that is tilt and azimuth angle of your system then you can use quick optimization tool to see what would be the optimum tilt and orientation of your system in this graph i can see my optimum tilt angle would be from 30 to 60 degrees and the orientation is at around south facing so if i start increasing the tilt angle you can see my loss with respect to optimum starts decreasing and it goes around to 0% when my tilt angle is around 38 degrees however most of the times if you are aware of your system then you can put your own values and get an approximate estimation of the loss with respect to the optimum tilt once you have defined your parameters you can say okay and then we go to the next part once we have defined the orientation this tab is changed to green meaning everything has been defined now we see that there is a remark by please is please define the system which means now we have to go to the next step system in this dialog box you will see the message in color codes given by pvcs if there is nothing written it means your system is good if there is a orange color written with a message then it means there are warnings but still your system can go ahead however if there is a red color then there is an issue and then you need to solve that issue before running a final simulation so as guided by PV system, we will go and now define the system. We click on the system tab and the new dialog box opens up. In the system dialog box, you will see different subsections. Sub array, pre-sizing, PV module selection, inverter selection, designing your PV system, the list of sub arrays and the global system summary. There is also tab for system overview and simplified sketch. Let's first understand simplified sketch of your system. You have PV modules which generate energy when sunlight hits the solar cell and that energy is taken by inverter which is converted from DC to AC energy and then AC energy goes to the electric grid. Now if you have user connected to the system and the user need is less than the energy produced by your solar system then the excess energy goes to the grid. However, if you are your user need is greater than your energy generation then user takes energy from the grid. So this is basically your simplified solar system sketch. Now we can define the name of our system in sub array name. So sub array. Then I can say we are defining our system like 5 megawatt project in Germany. So I'm going to define the plant capacity to be 5000 kilowatt peak. If you are not sure what exactly these parameters mean, then you will always see a question mark button in PVC, which is a tool for help. So when you click on it then you will see a lot of information popping up on your screen. If you go through it, you will understand what exactly is the information about and if you understand it well enough, you can define your system. For now, I am just going to skip it. Now, AVCC is asking us to choose our solar module or a PV module. In the scroll down list, you will see the different types of PV modules manufactured on different years or the manufacturers a lot of manufacturers or you can filter it according to whether do you want to see all the modules or you want to only see PV modules or PV modules with voltage maximum of 1500 volts. So I'm just going to see all PV modules and then randomly I'm going to choose yeah solar and then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to use a panel of let's say 450 watt peak. Now PVC asks us to choose the inverter type and the model. It also shows you what should be the optimal power of your inverter. So first I'm going to choose the manufacturer, let's say Huawei or maybe SunGrow. Then I'm going to choose the capacity of the model, let's say 110. And there you go. PIVS is going to show you some warning but as I have explained earlier you do not have to worry about what it means only understand this is just a warning but still your system is good enough to go ahead and perform the simulation however if this information was in red color then you have to solve that issue otherwise you cannot run your simulation by now you might have already noticed that based on our 
plant power of your system, PVCist has already calculated how many modules are in a string and how many mm, strings you need for this project. It has calculated by itself for us. As an engineer, you might be aware of MPPT inputs of the in inverter. This particular inverter option grow has 9 MPPTs. However, there are inverters with 12 MPPTs, 10 also. So, you also have to check with the manufacturer data sheet while doing all these calculations. For now, let's assume that we do not want to use multi MPPT feature, then we are going to untick this and then PVCS calculates how many number of inverters you need for this project and based on that it performs the calculations and all, let's assume that we also want to increase the modules in series PVC says from 6 to 18 can be selected so I'm going to select the maximum number of panels in a string and then the maximum strings that can be possible for this project are 617 however I have taken it to be 926 as you can see I immediately see there are red colors on the screen it says inverter power is strongly undersized, consider increasing overload loss limit in project setting. However, if we decrease this to 617 maximum number of string, let's see what happens. Then suddenly we see there is no error at all. Now we can take a look at the global system summary. Here PVC gives you a nice summary of your system. However, you, if you look closely enough, then you can see you have defined 5 megawatt system. However, PVC is only showing 4.99. 8 megawatt system. So, what can we do to achieve 5 megawatt system? Then we do simple calculations. So, we have 5 megawatt system, so 5000 kilowatt divided by we have 0.45 kilowatt YA solar PV module, then we need around 11,100 PV modules, which is almost 5 panels more. So, is there a way possible? Yes, how can we achieve that? Let's say we increase one string, that is we increase 18 panels, then we go a little bit above 5 megawatt system. So let's say OK. In the main dialog box, PVC says that we are ready for the simulation, we are green to go. I want to bring your attention to the tabs inside the PVC. If you look at orientation, the color is bright green color, also the system is bright green color. However, other tabs are dark green color. So what does this mean? It means even if we do not change any values, we are still ready to go ahead and do our final simulation. If you do change, then they will change to bright green color. Let's see that. Now I'm going to change some detail losses. If you click, then the dialog box for detail losses opens up. And now I'm going to go through all the parameters. If you are stuck at any moment, click on the question mark, then the dialog box opens up, then you can read through it. Otherwise, just follow along with me. Since it's my ground mounted system, it's a free mounted system with air circulation behind the panel. So I'm going to click on it. Then I have ohmic losses. I'm going to keep it at 1.5% default DC loss. We are in general using 4 millimeter square or 6 millimeter DC cable. So if you calculate the percentage loss of your entire project, you can give it to this tab. Let's say you have 1% or 2%, whatever that is. For now, I'm just going to keep default parameter. Then you also have AC ohmic loss, just like DC cable loss, you have AC cable loss. I'm going to say I have 1% AC loss with a 120 millimeter square copper wire. If you are using transformers, you can define it, but for simplicity, we are not going to do it here. Then I'm going to keep everything at default parameters. And then comes soiling loss, let's say your site is located at a location where there is a lot of dust flowing around with the and then I'm going to say around 2% loss. If you want, you can also define monthly value. And then IM losses, we keep it default, auxiliary losses, aging loss. What is aging loss? It consists about the degradation of your solar modules. If you want to use that in simulations, let's say after 25 years, if you want to see what is the value because of degradation, then you can put year number 25 and then it will calculate. But we are not going to use that for now. Then let's say you also have your system unavailable for around 1% of the time in a year, that is around 4 days. Then I'm going to just give 1% time and you can say random time during 1 year. Nothing for the spectral correction. Now system has a little bit of orange color which means there is a warning. If we open it, 
then it says inverter power is slightly undersized but since this is a warning we are going to skip it for now and ready for simulation we are not going to define self consumption we are not going to define any storage or battery capacity nothing for horizon no shading losses we'll come back to this later because this is really important part of your system energy management is also not defined now we go to simulation and if i run it and then pvc starts running your simulation once the simulation is done you can see graphs of different parameters you can change these graphs by clicking here you want temperature daily system output you can keep changing this parameter you can keep uh, playing with these variables according to your needs there is a performance ratio of your system that is how good your system is performing then there are options for report tables predefined graphs hourly graphs economic evaluation loss diagram and everything for now we are going to look at the report i click on report and the new dialog box opens up which shows us a nice report of your system now if you are running your pvc on a trial mode you will see this logo which is a watermark of your report this cannot be removed however if you have a licensed version of pvc it will not show this watermark now first of all let's see what is being shown on the report this is the front page of your report and we can modify these values and the information if you want otherwise you can keep it as it is how to modify the information displayed on the front page you can go to edit cover page and then here it shows various thing so i want to change the name of my cover page just for the cover page i'm going to say by my god project germany and then no 3d is defined and you can modify all these numbers i'm going to write down my name the i'm going to if there is a signature you can add your signature if there is no signature you can untick it and then i just say okay and then you can see this information will be modified there you go now we go to the next page and your whole system information is displayed on the second page of your system and you go scroll down scroll down and then here you can see the system parameters what type of pv module are we using what type of inverter are we using here is the inverter then it also shows different losses unavailability loss then ac wiring loss then here is the main report page where you can see the total energy produced by your system in one year what is the specific production how good your system is performing and then monthly values for all these parameters here is a loss diagram if when i zoom in what do we see here we have global horizontal irradiation and the incident collection in plane and then as you look down if the arrow is going outward and towards down then it means we are losing some energy if it is going outward and on the upper side then it means we are gaining some energy and then you can go through all these losses which is good if you want to look at where your system is losing more energy and if you want to save that file go to save pdf and then you can save it on your desktop Once you save it, it shows the dialog box if you want to open it or not. The folder. I say no. Then we go back, and then I want to close, save the variant. So I say new variant, five megawatt peak system. Save, and there you go. You have your first simulation ready in PVSyst.